Okay, so this is uh, a video on FFD modifiers and issues with them around, you know, selecting the volume and trying to um, influence the area that the uh, the FFD modifier affects. I've done quite a few searches on the internet and Max forums about this, and uh, doesn't seem that you know it's quite well understood. And then I just managed to stumble upon this uh, a few weeks ago. So what I'll, what I'll do, I'll, I'm going to apply an FFD modifier to to this here which is what I'll do, I'll remove the mesh smooth for now just so it's a bit faster for the video so we'll get rid of that and let's apply an FFD modifier so we'll do the 4x4x4 four by four by four. and in the FFD modifier you've got the control points the lattice and then there's this set volume and what you'll find is you, know, you might shrink the mesh, uh, you can move all these points I think, let's just move some so you can move these points and you can spend ages tailoring it to this mesh but I'll, I'll just do, um, I'll just move a, a few like that say and you see this effect, the deform effect, it says only in volume so you'd expect now that this mesh wouldn't uh, deform anywhere around this side but if we go to the control points and let's say I, I move that one it starts affecting the mesh out here which is just totally counterintuitive I'll just control that actually and click it uh, and the reason for that uh, it's not that obvious actually, but there's two there's two ways you can sort this. So the first one is if you uh, if you just reset everything. There we go. If you go to the lattice, what you, if it's something really quick and easy, what you can do you can just actually resize the lattice like that, like that using the scale scale tool. And we'll, well, we'll just leave it, leave it there for example. And then if you go back to the control points, if I move all of those now you can see it only affects that area of the mesh so that's a quick way of doing it um, but not massively accurate so I'll just undo that uh, and the I would say the, the proper way of doing this is what you need to do before uh, when you've applied your FFD modifier you need to apply a volume select before it right and you can see on the volume select there's quite a lot of different features here so I'm going to make the object selection method based on the vertices yeah and then what I'm going to do you can see it's defined either by a box a sphere a cylinder or a mesh object so you can quite easily start to limit areas of the volume select and uh, if you need to do something really complex you could you know you could go into another window over here and you could you could trace a spline so it only gets certain areas um, extrude it obviously then turn it into a mesh because it has to mesh it can't just be a spline um, so so if we do sphere you can see it's within that sphere and it's only picking up the the other you know, vertices that are inside that sphere um, but what we'll do, we'll do a mesh object just for a laugh. So we'll create a box. And oh no, I'll do a slide, we'll do a spline actually. So we'll do it in this window here. So we'll just create a spline. And say so we just want to sort of go around here, dodge that bit there. Down here, I'm going to include that horn there. And there. Include this horn, but not that one. So we'll do that, close the spline. Just apply and modify it to extrude it there you go, there you go. extrude it 20 mil and let's move that in line somewhere with the mesh so say there-ish okay so if you go go back to your dragon head thing now if you go on this volume select, rather than it being box cylinders, uh, sphere or cylinder, do mesh object and then click on that and we'll pick that. Uh, 
uh, if you just put it into wireframe not the easiest to see but you can see it's only picked the vertices that are inside the intersection between the dragon head and that um, spline that I've extruded so that's how you limit the the selection in the FFD modifier so then if you go back to the FFD after, now that you've got this volume select applied um, what we can do you have to make sure that it is only in volume and that is picked up by the fact you've got this it, it relies on you having a volume select prior to the FFD so if I start to move these vertices oops, start to move some of the vertices now the control points so grab those say it's only going to affect that area of the mesh even, even if I think let's just try it even if I scale up the lattice make it huge and move it back over here it's only affecting those volumes of vertices and then you know start playing around with the control points and that'll have an influence on areas of the mesh but yeah that's it that's how you limit an FFD to only affect a certain part of uh, a mesh that you've got so really useful uh, being able to constrain it really really useful uh, obviously click all vertices uh, then you will get the behavior of it affecting the entire mesh again uh, so if you do that it'll start to affect oh, he says oh yeah 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 it will do yeah let's, gra let's grab some of these I don't think that maybe it doesn't do it no nope. yeah. So having the volume select is what is crucial to, to limiting the effect of one of these modifiers. Whether it's an FFD, 4x4x4, 3x3x3 or 2x2x2. So hopefully you find that useful and it will save you some time in doing some mesh work and trying to deform things and make your life a little bit easier. Okay, thank you very much.